Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to talk about five different coats of arms in the Thompson family. The first to discuss is blazoned as follows, or a fess indented between three hawks, sable, beaked and legged gules. Crest, a hawk, wings expanded proper, beaked and legged or, between two spears erect, staffs gold, headed argent. This coat of arms was granted to the Thompsons of London in 1609 and was later born by Henry Thompson, Esquire of Plymouth. The second coat of arms to discuss is blazoned as follows. Or on a fest dance at Azure, three East Oils Argent on a canton of the second, the sun in glory proper, crest, an army erect, vested gules, cuffed argent, holding in the hand proper, five cars of wheat ore, five ears of wheat ore. Supporters, two falcons, wings expanded proper, belled ore. This coat of arms was that of John Thompson, the first Baron Haversham, who was born around the year 1648, the son of Maurice Thompson, a prominent merchant. John Thompson married, married Lady Frances Annesley and had at least 11 children with her. John died in 1710 and was succeeded in his titles by his son, Maurice. The third coat of arms is blazoned as follows. Argent, a chevron wavy gules, in base a seahorse in sea proper, supporting a flag azure on a chief of the last, a thunderbolt between two mullets or, on a canton of the last, a saltire engrailed sable between four crosses pate of the second. Crest, on a naval crown azure, charged on the rim with three crosses pate argent, a unicorn passant of the last, gorged with a wreath of laurel proper. This coat of arms belonged to the Thompson Baronets of Verkees. The Thompson Baronetcy of Verkees in the county of Sussex was created in the Baronetage of Great Britain on June 23, 1797 for Charles Thompson, who represented Monmouth in the House of Commons. Charles Thompson was the son of Margaret Thompson and an unknown man who was likely Norburn Berkeley. Charles was a British naval officer who served in the Seven Years' War and the American War of Independence. He married Jane Selby and had five children with her. The fourth, the fourth coat of arms is blazoned. Per fess argent and sable, a fess counter embattled between three falcons close, all counterchanged, belled and just or a bend sinister gules. This coat of arms was borne by William Thompson of Eschholt in the year 1585. He was the son of Henry Thompson of Eschholt, a merchant in London who joined King Henry VIII in a war in France in 1444. And the fifth and last coat of arms to discuss today is blazoned Azure, a lion passant gardent or a border argent. Richard Thompson of Laxton, who was usher to King Henry IV, had two sons and left descendants named William and Richard. The descendants of Richard, who lived in Newcastle upon Tyne, used these arms. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says genealogy research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. 
So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.